If you're looking for an exciting play to earn cryptocurrency NFT blockchain game, then maybe this video is for you, or maybe it's not. Today we're gonna be dashing around with Doge Dash, but is this game that looks familiar, yet new and exciting, integrating the infamous Shiba Doge? Oh, is it likely to be a hit? Or is it just a cash grab? That's what we're gonna be looking at today, but first we're looking at our Doge. Tails, our CDO here at Voscoin, our Chief Doge Officer. My name is Vosk. Make sure to slap that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun video. I'm really excited to start dashing around with Doge. We're even going to play the demo today. Have you ever wanted to get into Bitcoin mining, but you don't know where to start? Well, we'd recommend our sponsor. Compass, who not only will connect you with mining farms and you can host Bitcoin miners there, but now they also sell Bitcoin miners that they'll ship directly to your house. Learn more about Compass with the link out in the video description below. Just to be clear, this video is not financial advice and they did make this video possible, but let's jump into a play to earn game, whatever, in the most fun way. Let's play it. Hopefully this volume isn't very loud. It's probably going to be loud pretty loud here we go with the controls Ooh. oh yeah, yeah this, this. <laughs> this needs uh more what that is so sad no 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 okay let's try again this needs like more frames per second i, I find it hard to follow so i, I can i can jump on that guy so I was scared. I, I, I got. Whoop. I like panic jumped. I was like, ah, what, what is that? Okay. Okay. So today, Doge Dash, Doge LLC out of California. It's what they have uh, down there. And so let's, um, let's talk about a couple of things. So off the bat, you see the main focus here. We obviously did not make it to the snow level. Um, what is Doge Dash? Well, we just played the demo, which is readily available. They also have staking mechanisms. They have their own token. All of this is taking place on the Binance Smart Chain. So you can provide liquidity and earn huge returns on doing so. They have the staking farms as well as staking pools. With the staking pools, we have basically single asset token staking here. So we have a 15 day, 30 day, and 60 day lockup on these. You would enable that, and then they can spend your Doge Dash to be able to participate. If you really want to throw your weight behind this project, you'd provide liquidity and get huge returns, but you're also exposed to permanent loss. This is again, all taking place on the Binance Smart Chain. So we click over to PancakeSwap, the biggest decentralized exchange on chain. And so, if you don't know, I'm assuming you know what MetaMask is, how to use it, how to set it up, and you've also synced it up with the Binance Smart Chain. If you haven't, yeah, we got video guides for that one. Um, even a 30 minute video guide on what PancakeSwap is and just how to fully use it. But you know, I click and I click and I complete a decentralized trade. Incredibly cool stuff for the Doge Dash token. I haven't paid attention to PancakeSwap the last couple of days, but I do see that they have a new trading competition going on so i always register for things like this and participate to at least some degree the answer would be or the question is why well the answer is you become eligible for bonus nfts non-fungible tokens maybe reward distributions you can see i'm registered now you might be airdropped an nft and things like that but this is starting in just a couple hours so basically with this you set up your pancake profile you trade um, these coins during the battle and raise both you and your team score and then you can claim the prize there's also leaderboards and other things like that and that is really like a good example of the the gamification of cryptocurrency in this era speaking of winnings i'm gonna go collect some of my other winnings uh but not the point of today's video today we're focused on doge dash who they have models wearing their hoodies along with a bunch of other gear now how cool would a shirt be if it looked like this and well it worked like that i will say it's super cool that they've already kind of brought a doge dash plush to market here pretty easy to do in this era because doge and dogecoin have just achieved so much success but you do see that this is in line with their their mascot here it's not just like a random shiba plush they're kind of like marketing and selling as their own 
they also have launched their own NFT collection. Why is that really cool though? Because they're building a fun utility of where you can get this NFT, right? And you see some underlying themes and references here. But this NFT then replaces your character for the game. For example, play as your NFT, right? Click, 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 click. We have all these non-fungible tokens. Bang, now you look like that guy, which, I mean, that's really cool. So many more games should be use, using NFTs as avatars, as skins, things like that. Another day in crypto, Dogecoin is trending yet again. The general narrative with Doge Dash is this trying to be branded is basically the Super Mario of cryptocurrency, right? Because, wow, like uh, you see this, the resemblance in the coin collecting, the side scrolling, you know, even like a little bit of the general art style. And it's all kind of there. You can see that same NFT switch here on the homepage as well. But the NFT aspect is really fun and exciting. I mean, there are projects that just launched, you know, NFTs with unique traits. And that's their whole project but they're integrating it with a game and they're doing it more up front they're like here's our game demo and here's the skins that we're going to build into being able to utilize that this is on the ethereum blockchain so these tokens are expensive to mint they are expensive to buy and sell due to gas fees but as far as what they're trading at after doing 117 volume of ethereum the floor price here at 0.14 they're not outrageous right let's see what some people some dreamers I like to call them the dreamers 6,969 Ethereum. Best I can do is through ETH, buddy. But that definitely is a fun one. Honestly, I do think that they're cool. However, I would love to see them more accessible, right? It really target that big general market. Make them just readily mintable. They say this is generation one, that implies we're gonna have generation two and so forth. But there should be some like just basic, like a basic set that's always mintable always letting you roll the dice to get these certain potential loadouts and these skins and nfts right and, and i do think having ultra rare ones um for certain events and time periods and stuff like that i mean that's cool and that makes it a little more engaging people will hunt and you know have a sweet collection and all that kind of stuff i mean i get it i'm a nerd i, I played over 3,000 hours in dota 2 and i spent way too much money on skins in that game but you start playing something a lot you know you do enjoy it and it's fun to kind of show off and in that you're spending so much time looking at your character in this you know you have them on chain digital collectibles you can make them your profile picture like that's now your digital identity and things like that and that really leads to a lot of organic style marketing they are also pushing forward just just straight up marketing for example there's been a big wave of cryptocurrencies advertising football or as we say here in the united states soccer personally i don't think the returns on things like this are that high but i mean it is cool it, it's nice that they're trying different things and uh you know if they had a mobile app that had all this stuff integrated and ready to go i could see a lot of utility here uh but if you expect people to kind of sync up with metamask after seeing an ad on the side of a soccer game i think you're going to end up disappointed personally but let's bring it back to their token why do they even have one okay so What's gonna happen here in this player game is you're gonna pay 100 Doge Dash coins to enter and stand a chance of winning the 10,000 Doge, Doge Dash coins available in the game. Think Super Mario, but you actually get to keep the coins. See that they're the planting the seed right there on you. Sounds too good to be true, but only a few reach the doghouse at the end of level 10 to claim their collected coins. Let me tell you, if I'm giving out coins in my game, my game just got more difficult. Welcome to retro gaming difficulty, my friends. They're hoping to launch the game very, very soon, but who's making this game? We we'll click over to the team, we see Paul, Sander, Sig, Sophia, Jake, Marson. And off the bat, what I think is really cool about all of this, okay, is I see LinkedIn's, and, and these may be animated pictures, right? Um, that's true. But I can click over here and I can look into Paul. We see Paul's got a fun, uh, you know, cover piece up there, full time Doge Dash, uh, formerly creative director at MTV. And that's a key thing to note here is that's a very interesting position to come from where you are just entirely focused on creative control right and that could lead to this and just kind of that that target for mainstream appeal and just this current era we see a lot of interesting backgrounds in this space and that is a unrelated but applicable kind of background experience i would think over many other projects that we review here you know all the time on the channel speaking of marketing then we have sander here who has a clear background in digital marketing clicking over to 
Steven, I'm pretty sure they made Steven make an account for the team page. Steven, or Stefan, has one connection. Stefan, you didn't even connect with your whole team. Come on, man. Let's look at the tokenomics here. $135 million market cap, and it's been on a general downtrend the last couple of days. But overall, it's been pumping big time. And so that's a huge market cap for a project like this already. And I say that like out of, that's kind of impressive, right? And on almost $4 million in liquidity. So clearly their farming mechanisms are working and, and gaining some traction here. Do I think this is the next Axie Infinity? As it stands, no. But could this be the blockchain flappy bird of this era? Uh, currently, no. But that, that general mainstream appeal, you have a fun little dog you're playing with, very simple side scroller. I think they need to find some sort of balance between the difficulty. Like I, I'm a total nerd and, and I can't even get past the first level. And I think that's going to turn a lot of people off. But don't worry, I'm gonna try and get embarrassed again over there in a second. But before we do that, I wanna make a note that at the time of this video, they have 57,000 addresses holding their token and over 500,000 transfers. As well as remind you, it's so easy to trade these cryptocurrencies, right? So I'm on PooCoin. I could just put in 0.01, complete the swap here. And then from there, I will go ahead and initiate this trade. And we're also going to pull up that transaction. And what we, we've seen so many times on the Binance Smart Chain, it's sometimes it's not clearly laid out at all, are built-in token taxes. And so now look at this one, right? Talking about token taxes, 100 coins went here. 70 coins went here and I only received 3,300 coins. So what exactly just happened? Well, let's pull up the white paper. Scrolling through the white paper here, we get to token utility. Doge Dash, the native token used in the game, 5% tax on each transaction. 2% goes to marketing. 3% makes us a deflationary token. 3% of each transaction is burned so that the coins in your wallet become more valuable over time. The token distribution here is 65% to the community, 10% to the team, 15% to the marketing, and then 10% to rewards. So basically 25% to the team and then 5% of every transaction as well. I'm okay with token taxes generally speaking here, but I personally don't like the deflationary aspect on a utility token here for gaming. If this thing reached insane success, it would deflate to a point where it became too expensive to play. And you may say, oh, well, it's got to be this, it's got to be crazy, that, whatever. Well, I mean, to be honest, I think that you should be planning for just parabolic growth and success and hope you get there, as opposed to maybe ending up there and dealing with massive issues. What a great example of that, Ethereum gas fees. Transaction fees on Ethereum are way too expensive for what they should be. Let me give this game one more rip, though, and then my final thoughts. <laughs> little music, kind of get me hyped, hopefully not a copyright claim on youtube because that would really piss me off okay try as hard as i can here this is this is the best i can do for side scrolling games you know i I'm, I'm playing on a and this is not this is not a flex okay just to be clear my, my monitor is like a thousand dollars and my eyes can't focus on this going sideways I'm, I'm you know i'm basically playing with with a blur Woo. See, so what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm opting to get less coins. Just make it through the first level. So you see, just like that, bam, 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 I'm through the first level. And I got a level complete, 30%. I'm just not that good. On to the next one. Okay. So I'm on level two. And kind of panic jump right there. And uh got three lives here. Let's go all the way. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, so I, I, I got a good rhythm going here. Let's... Doing way better than before. All right, so, so let's, let's get him a little... Oh. Let's get a little bit more aggressive. Why so serious? I'm really good until I die once. And then, then I just start, like, breaking down. It's like, hey... Stop break. I did it again. I did it again. Did it again. 
All right, but guys, on a serious note, honestly, this is a fun game. This is cool. I, I like the general direction of cryptocurrency right now. Blockchain, gaming, play to earn. All this stuff is so much fun. We have we have names attached, right? People's, uh, th their character is attached. So this guy, if he scams, we know who he is. We know his background. He has to be connected to, you know, some people working with MTV and in such a public style, you know, position along with the other team members. And I don't mean to sound so negative and skeptical, but... You kind of have to be in the cryptocurrency space. We deal with so many projects, especially anonymous projects, that just end up either not delivering or just kind of scamming. I absolutely hope this becomes a Super Mario of cryptocurrency and game, blockchain gaming and stuff like that. I mean, I have a doge, okay? I'm all about it. This is fun. It's engaging. It's on the Binance Smart Chain, so transaction fees are absolutely manageable here now what will happen with doge dash i'm not quite sure but it's off to a great start unlike me the first time i played this game so as always i hope you enjoyed this video found it fun and entertaining informative if you did please make sure to subscribe to the voscoin youtube channel and i will I didn't, this video is not financial advice but i will recommend that you head over to their site and at least try the demo just just for fun like you're watching this video you're into crypto Give a crypto game a spin. So with that said, I'm going to close it out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money. I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.